my opinion, as a Saints fan, the biggest game of the day, 325, the Saints are traveling to Carolina to play a Panthers team that just beat the Redskins, a team with playoff hopes, a Panthers squad that almost every game ends in a single possession. It's going to be a fun matchup, honestly. It's, oh, I'm so scared of the Saints fan, Adelaide. If you didn't know, uh, the Saints' entire offensive lineup has gone through, uh, you know, death. I think they've marched through hell, figured out how to... Uh, I think they lost some people along the way, honestly. I think the offense was marching through hell. Some of them slipped into some lava and died. Uh, it's not been good. So, if you if you want to go through this journey of the season with me, let's start a few weeks back when we lost Michael Thomas, did the season for IR, and I was like, <sighs> not fun. <laughs> let's go to some, but we still have some guys, and then... Deontay Harris went to IR, and I'm like, oh, oh, ah. Deontay Harris, if you don't know, is kind of our special threat. He's like Tyree Kill or Tyler Lockett. Uh, Tyler Lockett, before he became a major part of the offense, he's that kind of player for us. And when Michael Thomas is down, we kind of use him like a lot. He is a serious kind of playmaker. Uh, but then we had Traquan go down. Traquan Smith is also a very viable receiver. And then we had no Benny Fowler Jr., which at that point was a sixth string. But, like, at that point, I was like, I'd kill for Benny Fowler Jr. right now. So if you didn't know, if you were keeping track, we have the second string receiver, Emmanuel Sanders, also a very good, solid target, which I'm excited that we still have. Because if we don't have him, our offense is... Uh, Marquez Callaway is kind of emerging. as that kind of undrafted free agent rookie that slips by everyone. And Sean Payton finds one almost every year that's, like, super talented in that regard. It's interesting. I think Sean Payton's really good at that. But we have him, that, and that guy. Yeah, those two. Emmanuel Sanders, Marquez, Callaway. Oh, that's scary. I mean, obviously you have other players on our roster, but you want Johnson, Austin Carr, Tommy Lee. <laughs> Shoot me, that guy's garbage incarnate. But... I was fine. I was like, okay, chill. We still have our tight ends. Then Josh Hill went down with an injury. Uh, Josh Hill, if you don't know, if you're not an avid Saints fan, which I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people aren't watching this channel, Josh Hill has been a solid tight end for us for many years. He's been with us for all his career, I believe, undrafted free agent. He's not been the flashiest of tight ends, but he always catches the ball when it's thrown to him. So... It's always nice to have him on the field as some kind of threat. If you didn't know, Josh Hill's the guy that caught Drew Brees' uh, record-breaking touchdown pass. It was going to be Traquan Smith, but some dumb OPI call that the refs called just to screw Drew. Uh, but I really love the Saints here, obviously. Uh, but let's talk a little bit more about the Saints. The running back room was just murdered by COVID. It was just massacred. I thought, okay, we can just run the ball to victory. Alvin Kamara, Latavius Murray, and Dwayne Washington, not to mention our fullback Michael Burton, are all out with COVID. That leaves, if, you, if you're keeping track, little boys and girls at home, Ty Montgomery. I don't know who Ty Montgomery is. He was a running back for the Packers. You know how many carries he has on the year? Ooh, no. He has one carry, I think, for negative four yards. Might be negative six. That's our running back situation. We're going to be bringing out a guy from the practice squad, a Notre Dame rookie, undrafted free agent. Hopefully he can do well. But I'm not holding out hope. We also have Taysom, obviously. I feel like he's going to be our main back, honestly. We're going to lean on Taysom so much in our run game, like it's not even going to be funny. <laughs> but our offense right now is, ah! Our defense, weirdly enough, uh, is pretty injury-free, knock on wood, except for one position. Uh, uh, honestly, obviously, we lost Quan Alexander last week against the Vikings, which really sucks because he's been a he was a solid linebacker since the trade. Uh, but I really believe Alex Zelina can come back in and fill that role. He's been a great linebacker for us before. Not to mention, I'm really excited how Zach Bond, a rookie out of Wisconsin, really deals with his new uh, defensive role. I'm really excited to see how that works out. But I'm worried about free safety because. Before, I wasn't that worried. We had Marcus Williams, and we had 
Malcolm Jenkins. Great pair. They've been doing great for the second half of the season. Then Marcus Williams went down a couple weeks ago. Second straight game without Marcus Williams, which really sucks if you did. He's been such a solid contributor to our defense. A lot of people hate on him, mainly because of the missed tackle in the Minnesota Vikings game of the divisional round two years ago in the Minnesota Miracle. Wasn't ex uh, like One bad play does not decide a man's career. He's still a great player in New Orleans. Which I'm like, okay, next man up, next man up. That would that would have been uh, Chauncey. Chauncey would have been the next man up. He's out with COVID. And then next man up, DJ Swearinger. He's out with COVID. So it's going to be huge. We're bringing up a corner. Now, this is going to be weird. PJ Williams, our formerly four-string corner. I mean, it just depends. Sometimes one of our corners are down. If you didn't know, he's always been our slot corner for many years before we picked up P. Robin free agency. He's going to be playing safety for us, which is going to be interesting to be sure. Patrick Robinson is back, which is why we can move him to that certain kind of role. Uh, I'm really interested to see how that goes. Uh, but other than that, I believe we have solid playmakers all around. Trey Hendrickson will be back this week, which means our defensive line's all ready to go. Trey Hendrickson, Cameron Jordan, Marcus Davenport, Carl Granderson, not to mention our defensive tackles, Nichelle Rankins, David Onyemata, Sh Shai Tuttle, Malcolm Roach, Malcolm... Oh, dang, who is... Malcolm Brown. They're all back this week. Uh, I gotta hope our offense gets more healthy when it comes to playoffs. But I really believe the Saints are going to come in. They're going to beat the Panthers. Uh, I think our defensive line is going to be after Teddy Bridgewater. Give me the Saints in this one. Yeah.